Welcome back you guys. So for today's video, I am all cozied out in my Halloween pajamas because I thought it would be a fun idea to do a Halloween cozy movie night in. So I will be showing you everything I do to set up, some snacks I make, and just give you like a general idea of what I do during a movie night at home. This one is themed Halloween, obviously, with it, you know, coming up. So I thought I would get into my Halloween pajamas. These specifically I got last year. They are from Target, but I know you can get them also at Kohl's, um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, any place like that for you and your family. Uh, definitely keep an eye out because they tend to run out of size super quick, especially at Target. It's so hard to find them at Target in like size small or extra small. So these are size small. They fit a little bit loose, but that's okay. I don't mind since I'll just be lounging around. So I'm so excited for this video and I can't wait to take you along with me. So let's jump into it. So starting with the setup, Honestly, you guys, if it was just me, I would definitely just clear the table, clear the area, kind of vacuum it up and throw some pillows and blankies on the floor because that is super cozy. But I decided to step it up a notch since my hubby is actually going to be home today. I was like, you know what? Let me kind of set it up in a way that's a little bit more cozy and comfortable for him as well as me. Um, so I decided to kind of clear the space and and I decided I was gonna bring up one of our mattresses. We have a small, like, I don't know what to call it. It's kind of like a cot mattress and we're both very small people. <laughs> so I decided to bring it up and kind of use that instead. Next, I took the opportunity to vacuum this area that the coffee table was on top of because honestly, between me and you guys, it never really gets vacuumed. I don't pull all the furniture off this rug. So I decided to take the opportunity and vacuum it real quick, especially since we have two cats and we'll be on that area of the rug. It's just extra kind of step I take. Next, I'm bringing out the mattress, and this is about the size it is, you guys. I wanna say it's like maybe a twin or full size kind of cot mattress, but you guys, this stuff is a lifesaver, like when I wanna do movie night in and maybe like a whole movie day. Like, it's so much more comfortable than laying on the floor, but it is exhausting dragging up this flight of stairs when I'm like in the basement. It's it, We store it in the basement in this like big blue bag, so and I'm just kind of like leaving this night as kind of like a surprise date night for my hubby. So I didn't want to ask him for help. So I kind of just like sent him on his way like to do an errand and I'm just setting up everything while he is doing it. So had to try and like get it up myself, but it is a little bit heavy when you're my size and bringing it up yourself. Next, what I like to do is add a big fluffy throw blanket or quilt. In this case today, I decided to do a quilt because one, it was super soft and it was in my closet as an extra quilt. Two, it kind of matches the area, like the tones that I have going on in this room specifically. So I decided to do that over like a all white setup just because we are going to be on the floor and I just don't want and we're going to be eating and drinking and I just don't want to spill anything on my white bedding that's just crisp clean right now so I'm going with this backup gray quilt also even though it is on the warmer side of, side of Jersey right now we are like pumping our ACs so it's chilly in the house that's also why I'm able to wear these PJs you guys Next, I gotta add some fluffy pillows because, you know, 
that's just what you gotta do on movie night. You have to make sure it's super cozy and relaxing. And honestly, I love a nice fluffy pillow and just like a really cozy environment. I feel like it just adds to the ambiance. And since this is like a Halloween themed one, I really want to get like the spooky vibes going. Um, it's a little bit lighter right now on the light side, but we will start watching movies when it's darker. So I also have my like ambient lighting going. Like I have the little, you'll see moon wreath in the back lit up as well as my little mini Halloween tree. And I plan to add a few jack-o'-lanterns also to the scenery as well. So yeah, just setting, setting an ambiance can really make like your date night at home really like be special and feel like you know not an ordinary date night next you guys will see that i have this little poof in my living room i like to use it either for like a serving tray um but in this case i decided to display a few like light up pumpkins on it and like also put my uh, jack-o'-lanterns on it. Lastly, I'm just adding some of the pumpkins that are laying on my couch and chairs to the bedding area just to add a few more touches of that like Halloween touch. And um, that is it. I really like the simplicity of it, you guys. I wanted to keep it gray and white because I wanted it to be very romantic looking, but I think it came out really cute. And honestly, you guys, it only took about 20 minutes, the longest time I feel like I spent was on the mattress and just hauling it up and getting it set. But if you guys want to just use pillows and throws and cozy blankets, that would definitely work too. Definitely try this out. Next, I head over to the kitchen to start the snacks. Um, honestly, you guys, I was going to do two separate snack trays, but then I remembered that my hubby actually just finished prepping pizza dough and that we were going to be eating pizza. So I decided to just do one tray and kind of make it a healthy kind of like charcuterie tray so right now i'm making um mini caprese salad with some diced cherry tomatoes and some mo fresh mozzarella and i have no idea why i chose the most like stubborn knife to use for this chopping session i definitely have better ones but whatever i managed to actually cut everything up but it was just very difficult <laughs> up some fresh cucumber i like to serve some like vegetables as a side with some ranch dressing i always think that's like a healthy alternative to like junky snacks so i'm just cutting up a fresh cucumber and i will add some baby carrots to the mix and some fresh ranch dressing and lastly gotta have a little bit of some junky food so adding some kettle chips here these are just plain with sea salt and then i also add some mexican street corn flavored like nachos you guys they are so good and i wasn't going to add a drink to this video but i found these beers this is our favorite halloween pumpkin beer in my cabinet i was like you know what screw it i'm gonna try and chill them and have them ready for our movie night so this is our favorite 
beer to drink during the season. If you guys haven't tried it, highly, highly recommend. Okay, you guys, so the last thing to do is to pick a movie. We'll probably end up doing a classic Michael Myers movie. We both love Michael Myers movies. What is your favorite Halloween movie? Comment that below. Let me know in the comments. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. See you next time. Bye.